Flutterflow tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Flutterflow. Flutterflow is a powerful platform that allows you to build beautiful modern apps incredibly fast using a low code builder for developing native mobile applications. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of Flutterflow. We will also show you how to create a simple app using Flutterflow's drag and drop interface. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Flutterflow, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look for the Start for Free button and click on it. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will see various options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to sign up with your Google, Apple, GitHub, or Microsoft account, or continue with your email address. Select your preferred option and proceed with the sign-up process. After successfully signing up, you will be directed to the dashboard. When you visit your dashboard for the first time, a pop-up window will appear. This window will prompt you to provide additional information to personalize your account. You can customize your account settings and preferences to suit your needs. The dashboard in Flutterflow provides a user-friendly interface that is easy to navigate. The left side of the dashboard features a navigation panel where you can access various tabs. These tabs include Projects, Marketplace, My Organization, and Resources. Under the Projects tab, you can find a list of all the projects you have created, whether from scratch or using a template. You also have the option to create a new project by clicking on the Create New button. Additionally, you can organize your projects by creating labels. To create a new label, simply click on the Plus Label button. Moreover, the dashboard allows you to customize the appearance of your workspace. You can switch between light and dark themes by clicking on the respective button located at the top of the page. This allows you to work in a visual environment that suits your preferences. The Marketplace tab provides access to a template library. Here you can explore and view all the available templates that can be used to build your mobile applications. Furthermore, any templates that you have created within Flutterflow will be displayed in the Created Items section. Similarly, templates that you have previously used will be shown in the Previously Used Templates section. This makes it convenient to revisit and reuse templates that you find useful. Under the My Organization tab, you can collaborate with your team. This feature enables you to manage billing for your entire team, work on projects simultaneously, share custom code, design libraries, and assets, among other collaborative functionalities. It serves as a hub for team-based development and streamlines the coordination process. Overall, the dashboard provides a centralized hub for managing projects, accessing templates, and collaborating with your team. Now, let's see how to create a new app in Flutterflow. To create a new app in Flutterflow, follow these simple steps. Firstly, ensure that you are on the Projects tab on the dashboard. On this page, you will find a button labeled Create New, positioned at the top right-hand side of the page. When you click on the Create New button, a pop-up window will appear. This window allows you to create a new app from either scratch or by using a pre-existing template. If you prefer to start from scratch, begin by entering your desired project name. Then select the Create Blank option. After clicking on this option, you will be taken to the Flutterflow editor where you can start building your app according to your preferences. Alternatively, if you would like to use one of the existing templates available, you can easily do so. Start by entering your project name in the field provided above the templates. Once you have done that, browse through the available templates and hover your cursor over your preferred one. When you do this, you will see an option labeled Use Sample. Click on this option. Upon clicking, you will be redirected to the Flutterflow editor where you can customize the template to your liking. For this tutorial, we will be using the Robin Do template as an example. Scroll down and hover over the Robin Do template. You will see the Use Sample button. Click on it to be redirected to the editor. Once you enter the Flutterflow editor, you will notice that it is organized into different sections to facilitate app creation. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will find a left toolbar that houses a variety of tools. These tools are designed to assist you in building and connecting your app to different platforms or services. Adjacent to the left toolbar is the left sidebar. This sidebar contains widgets, components, templates, and theme widgets. These elements can be easily accessed and added to your app during the development process. The center of the editor is occupied by the main canvas. This is where you can visualize your template and make modifications. The canvas provides a central area where you can customize your app's design and layout. On the right-hand side, you will find the right sidebar. This sidebar offers additional customization settings. When you click on any content within the central area of your template, the right sidebar will open up. 
it will display specific options and settings that pertain to the selected content. This allows you to further customize and fine-tune each individual element of your app. At the top of the editor, you will find options that enable you to edit and view your app in different formats. You can switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views. This feature allows you to preview and optimize your app's appearance across different devices and screen sizes. When it comes to customizing your template in Flutterflow, the left toolbar, sidebar, and right toolbar provide a user-friendly interface. To begin customizing, start by navigating to the left toolbar and locate the Page Selector option. Clicking on this option will display all the screens or pages within your app template. Choose the specific page you wish to customize and click on it. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's select the Splash Screen page as an example. Once clicked, you will notice that the selected page appears in the central area of the editor. To make changes to this page, you need to click on the section or content that you wish to customize. For instance, if you click on the Robin Dio section, you will observe that the right sidebar appears, presenting options to customize this particular section. As this section contains an image, you can modify its width and height by assessing the image section within the right panel. Additionally, you can adjust the padding and alignment of the image using the padding and alignment section. In the responsive visibility section, you can determine whether the section remains responsive across different views such as mobile, tablet, and desktop. If it is not responsive, you can make it so. If you wish to replace the image with your own, scroll down to the asset image section and click on the upload image option. This allows you to upload your desired image from your computer. Within the chosen page, there are two additional buttons labeled Register and Login. If you wish to customize these buttons, it can easily be done. Simply click on the button you want to customize, such as Register, and the right panel will open up. In the right panel, you have the ability to modify the button's text. To do so, scroll down to the Button Text field and replace the existing text with your desired text. Furthermore, you can adjust the font style and size according to your preferences. The color of the button can be changed in the Button Default Style section. The right sidebar offers various other options for customizing the button, allowing you to fine-tune its appearance and behavior. If you want to add additional widgets, components, templates, or theme widgets to your app, you can do so by accessing the respective section in the left sidebar. For example, if you click on the Widgets section in the left sidebar, you can choose the desired element and drag it onto the page where you want to add it the element will automatically be added to the page in the designated position. You can follow the same method to customize other pages of your app. By utilizing the left toolbar, sidebar, right menu, and their respective options, you have the flexibility to make adjustments and additions throughout your app's interface and functionality. This enables you to create a customized and personalized app that suits your specific needs and preferences. Once you have made the desired customizations to your app, you may want to preview it before publishing. To do so, simply locate the Preview button at the top right corner of the editor and click on it. This will allow you to see how your app looks and functions. If you are satisfied with the preview and wish to publish your app, click on the blue button next to the Preview button. Upon clicking, you will be presented with two options, Run and Test. Choosing the Run option will enable you to share links with others, allowing them to view your app. This will run the app in the browser, providing a live version of your app for others to experience. Alternatively, you can select the Test Mode for faster iteration. This option compiles and runs your app using a temporary link. It allows you to test and evaluate your app as you continue to build and make further modifications. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Flutterflow. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this guide helpful and informative. Flutterflow offers a remarkable low-code builder for developing native mobile applications with ease. With its drag-and-drop interface, you can quickly create stunning modern apps in no time. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.